Everyday life is full of synthetic chemical products. Over the past 80 years, many chemical substances of industrial origin have been added to the list of products used. POPs, persistent organic pollutants, are especially dangerous. Toxic, they have harmful effects on public health and the environment. Persistent, they last for a long time in the environment, whole decades even. Volatile, they can travel large distances through the atmosphere and can be found in remote areas where they have never been used. By accumulable, they accumulate in the adipose tissue of living beings. Their toxicity has harmful effects on the environment and living organisms. In humans, can cause cancer, malformations and other birth defects, behavioral and learning problems, alteration to the immune system, reduced fertility, damages to the nervous system, etc. Where do we use POPs? These compounds have been and still are used in agriculture to combat pests, pesticides, as well as in many industrial processes. Others, however, like dioxin and furans, are subproducts produced unintentionally from various industrial and natural processes. Since the first signs of the harmful effects of POPs came to light, legislative tools have been developed to manage the risks. In particular, the Stockholm Convention, ratified by 172 countries, with the objective of restricting and ultimately eliminating the production used, release and storage of POPs. This convention identified 21 of these POPs as particularly dangerous. During the latter half of the 20th century, natural fibers such as cotton, wool and linen were replaced by synthetic fibers such as nylon, polyester and polypropylene. The manufacture of these new fibers and the current treatment of natural fibers both involve the use of a large amount of chemical compounds. Aside from the pesticides used in the cultivation of these natural fibers, POPs are used in wool cleaning, mechanical spinning, the conservation of fibers, chlorine bleaching and the dyeing or stamping process among others. These chemical compounds constitute great advantages both technical, stain resistant, impermeability, durability etc. and aesthetic, greater iron and resistant, bright colors etc. as well as greater safety, for example the use of frame retardants in the manufacture of carpets and curtains. Hexachlorobenzene, ACB, is a flame retardant that was used some years ago in certain textiles. Today it has fallen to disuse. Meanwhile, perfluorooctane sulfonates are still in use because no other substance has been developed which has the same stain-resistant properties. Purchase ecological clothing or brands that are introducing good environmental practices. Some ecological labels exist on the international level. Look at the textile's composition. Natural fibers are preferable over synthetic ones. Avoid impulsive and unnecessary clothing purchases. Take all clothing to a green point. This will enable them to be recycled. Increase the useful lifespan of your clothes. Find out about exchange or second-hand markets. Or, if you prefer, suggest a clothing exchange with your friends and family. It is not easy, technically speaking, to find viable alternatives to POPs. The same properties that make them so toxic and highly polluting, unknown at the time they enter the market, are the same properties that make them so efficient in the eradication of plague, cotton bleaching and delaying of the outbreak of fire in electrical and electronic appliances, etc. However, since the first science emerged of their harmful effects on human health and uh, the environment, research is being carried out into green chemistry and new laws and conventions have been passed to move forward a future free from POPs. Public information, awareness and participation are essential for moving towards a future free from POPs. Go online, you will be able to build on this information. Tell your friends and family about this video. Thank you.